Britain's lifeline in the Second World War, which was an extremely tenuous link, almost nearly broken by the U-boats. And it's an illustration of the desperation of those times that these aircraft, the Sea Hurricanes, were catapulted from the aircraft. And the aircraft were not expected to land back on. The uh, pilot was uh, expected to bail out close to one of the um, one of the convoy ships and uh, abandon the aircraft and expect to be he would expect to be picked up from the sea. The built-up fuselage construction. because the wind has um, been blowing them up, uh, about so much. So that's the Lysander safely down. Lining up at the end of 03, rolling on 03 now, we have um, Again, a unique aeroplane. You'll see no other uh, Lysa, Western Lysanders flying, certainly on this side of the Atlantic. This is the Western Lysander, designed by W.E.W. Peck, a sea hurricane, of which more are done. Design that uh, the Western aircraft to the design of W. E. W. Petter, an interesting chap himself, uh, came up with. Following close by is the Sea Hurricane, a very rare aircraft, Sea Hurricane. The Hurricane was a product of the Hawker aircraft designed in Sydney Town. visibility and a reasonable turn of speed. So off to the left hurricane and off to the right the Lysander.
lit only by a uh, shaded torch, navigating to and from in the pitch dark, landing, picking up agents, often under the hail of gunfire from troops. That lovely sound of the Bristol Mercury radial engine that you can hear is lovely soft throb of that engine. It's a lovely, lovely sound. The principal uh, function of that um, container between the undercarriage legs was a uh, supplementary fuel tank to give the aircraft a much longer range. Strips and, and the like. 